Well, I'm family. So signs in the skies. And, and yes, I'm still still busy with this uh, video that I need to release for you on the April 8th. But we've still got two weeks towards that one. But tonight is that potential blood moon happening. And now they've released this article, which I found very exciting too. The sun unleashes massive solar flare near peak of 11-year magnetic activity cycle. They near the very peak of the 11-year cycle. 11 <clears throat> being the number here. Chaos, rebellion, confusion, everything that's bad in the Hebrew connected with the number 11. As we're approaching the 11th cycle lying ahead. 11 would be the perfect time for Daniel's 70th week as 12 would be God's governance and control and everything which would fit with the beginning of the thousand year reign of the lion of the tribe of Judah. So coming back to this article, this morning a massive solar flare spewed into space at light speed reminding us that the sun is at or very close to the peak of its 11 year magnetic activity cycle. After a month of relatively low activity, at 0130 UTC on March the 23rd, the sun produced an X1.1 class solar flare, followed by almost a dozen smaller M class solar flares and a bright coronal mass ejection. It could mean bright aurora and, here's the fun part, an extra special site during April 8th total solar eclipse, an event already predicted to show onlookers a huge coronal streamer, now with potential extra built into what you're going to see. The solar flare caused a temporary radio blackout over the western Pacific Ocean, according to spaceweather.com. The CME triggered by the solar flare is likely to cause G1 class to G3 class, so minor to strong, geomagnetic storms on earth late on monday march 25th and early on tuesday march 26th so the sun the angel in the sun moving his furniture and stirring things up and switching switches and everything for judgment even that seems to be gearing up for the april 8 eclipse something big coming to watch for who knows can only be exciting god bless keep looking up Shalom.